critical timings across the world in which food has become a cause of conflicts and wars, the National Human Rights Committee has organized the International Conference on Food Justice. The conference was held in Doha and was organized in partnership with the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, the Global Alliance of Institutions, the Office of the United Nations Development Program, the International Fund for Agriculture Development, and the Arab League. As far as UNDP is concerned, we are working towards supporting more than 100 countries with a, with a rights-based approach to development. Um, we, our work is essentially focusing on transforming food systems, making it more just, more inclusive, more equitable. Uh, and we are trying to do these through these uh, 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 supporting national endeavors on, on, on uh, transforming food systems. The two days conference aims to provide a global dialogue platform for exchanging knowledge and experiences, building capacities and reviewing legislation, policies, plans and programs related to food justice from a human rights perspective, and also developing recommendations for strengthening cooperation to support right-based tackling to food justice issue around the globe, especially in the region. The most important takeaway and messages of this conference are the interconnectedness across the various areas of work and topics. We are talking about food justice, at the same time it's about food security, it's about good food, nutrition food, it's about for us of course whatever is impact on health and the relationship between all the elements. The conference provides a valuable opportunity for discussion and exchange of knowledge and experiences. The main takeaways highlighted the need to deal with the recurring global food crisis in accordance with human rights-based approach and to promote the right to food that should be available and affordable for all human beings. The conference is when you have so many partners. We have member states, we have national human rights committees, civil society organizations and the United Nations with others, specialists, experts from academia, from universities. In this way, I think there is a cross-fertilization of experiences.